going to be hearing a lot more about the pitch to get the tide rolling into Virginia Beach. That's coming right from the city manager's office where that proposal is to tie light rail in the neighborhoods where the city hopes will be big areas of growth for millennials. Penny your side's Matt Kelly, or Matt Gregory, is live with the pitch and the growing opposition. This area here behind Town Center is where the city of Virginia Beach envisions growth between living and businesses over the next few years thanks to light rail. And that's why in the next few months they plan to make a crucial move. But at the same time, in the next few months, opposition plans to get enough momentum to stop light rail. By Town Center, the tracks of the old Norfolk Southern Line saw the last train cars pass over years ago. But this straight line may have a future in light rail. To have an additional option to diversify your transportation choices is just critical for a city of our size. And to connect the two largest cities in the Commonwealth uh, just makes a lot of sense. Brian Solis is the lead for the city on light rail expansion. This week, with this presentation, he showed the city council how light rail has grown other cities' jobs and populations. Providing city council with a, a full comprehensive picture of what the light rail extension project uh, could mean to to our residents and our visitors is, is critical. Even more crucial because in the coming months, the city has to buy the light rail cars. They require a 30 month lead time, meaning that from the point that you order them to the point they go into systems testing is a 30 month uh, time difference because they're a special order vehicle. Inside City Hall on the first floor, City Treasurer John Atkinson. I'm supporting the no light rail position. Has his reasons. In the lack of support, the lack of need, uh, and the cost. And now says his support has grown. We currently have over 17,000 signatures on petitions. Uh, I want 34,000, so as far as I'm concerned, we're halfway to the point that I want to be. It's a rush to spring for light rail or for a vote. The city manager's office says they will continue to brief the city council on the benefits of light rail. And Atkinson says he looks forward to Super Tuesday in Virginia to boost his signatures. In Virginia Beach, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.